Hello everyone and welcome to Art Smart. This is Kevin and I'm at my local library. You should be here too, or at least at yours, because it's a val valuable resource. Today I'd like to talk to you about Vogue, the covers. You might think this is a kind of weird thing for me to bring up here in Art Smart because I typically don't talk about popular magazines. However, Vogue has been influential in photography uh, for many, many years as people look at it as a great example of what's popular. They look at it uh, as an example of what is current in photography and how people are supposed to be presented in uh, Western culture. So it does have quite an impact on art and the art that is made by a lot of fine artists as well. Now when you look at a, a book like this it is going to have a lot of very popular celebrities but that's not always the case. If you look back Vogue way in the beginning actually had quite a bit of a uh, interesting uh, way of making their art. It was very kind of art deco at certain periods. It was also art nouveau and uh, you can definitely kind of see a lot of that influence here. There's a Japanese wood block in uh, impression on a lot of these that you will see in the early days as well. So very, very cool art uh, was used back then. And then once they got into more and more photography, they uh, focused in on clothing and also, as time went along, more and more natural uh, focus on the celebrities themselves in the way that they are presented their, th themselves and their bodies. So this has been a very uh, popular magazine and influential magazine over the years. And I do think this particular book does a good job of showing you how the, the magazine has progressed over the years and how uh, the, the way that they have influenced photography and just the public imagination with uh, celebrity in general. Uh, yes, they do also celebrate clothing, and uh, especially, I think, prior to like the 1990s, they really did a, a good job of focusing in on the clothing a bit more. Once you start getting uh, into the 1990s and beyond, though, I think the cult of celebrity kind of took over. So I'm less impressed by a lot of the newer work here. Uh, if there is a negative that I have about this book is that there really isn't any write-up putting it in perspective. Uh, there's really no discussion as to how Vogue has influenced other people, except maybe just a very, very brief introduction here. Uh, so this book in general uh, assumes that you know how this has impacted society, and thus I think it limit, uh, limits its impact. This is really a book as it stands is more just for somebody that likes Vogue magazine to look through it, or honestly for the newer magazines maybe uh, your kind of horny teenage guy to look at some pictures of celebrities. Uh, there's not a whole lot in here that's going to show you anything about art, and so I wish there would be more of a write-up. But as for just a presentation of how this magazine has progressed over the years and giving you an idea of how it has influenced art and vice versa, it is interesting in that respect. And so it might be something that you want to pick up, but I wouldn't spend a whole lot on it because I don't feel that it gives you enough meat to really give you that art influence that I, I like to see people have. Hopefully this review has made you a little bit more art smart and you will check out your local library like I have. Have a great day. Bye-bye.